back to the Helpful Home. I'm Sunday Dawn, and today on Tiny Tidy Tuesday, we are dealing with something that I think is probably of concern in most American households, and that is the last dregs of your Costco haul. Do any of you do this? So you come home, you're starving first of all because it's Costco, and you've been looking at all of the food, and you and your husband, in my case, dump all of the groceries everywhere, and then you're just trying to pack and fit it all in, and then when you're done, you're like, I quit. And what's left is those things that were hardest to put away. That happens to me almost every Saturday. And this Saturday it is kitchen trash bags and dishwasher pods because they go down there under my sink. And um, I'm gonna show you under my sink. If you've been here for some time, you've seen me tiny tidy it, but that is what tiny tidies are for. You've also seen me massive overhaul it. And underneath what needs to be tidy tidied that massive overhaul is still holding up, but we need to give it a quick lift flip up in order to fit in those large Costco size tall kitchen bags and dishwasher pods. So um, I also have a massive bag of rice, like the massivest, is that a word? The massivest bag of rice. <laughs> Am I always making up words? The massivest bag of rice that you've ever seen. Um, we usually buy the sushi rice or the cow rose rice and that's a smaller bag and my husband went by himself and should never be allowed because he was like, it was less money for less good rice, um, but it was less money for a giant or bag. Where did you put a giant bag of rice? But we're gonna try to make it work and that is our Tiny Tidy Tuesday. So come along with me if you have not yet chosen your Tiny Tidy, I encourage you to tear out underneath your kitchen sink, set a timer for 10 minutes and tiny tidy under your kitchen sink or organize one part of your pantry. Let's do it. So just in fairness, let me show you what this looks like. Pretty average, tidy American home. Costco overflow. <laughs> Does anybody else have a place they hide those things for two days? It's not a shame. It's Monday and for two days those things have been sitting there because I was like, I ain't dealing with that on Saturday. I'm exhausted and I'm starving. And those just weren't easy enough to pop in. I did not want to try to shove those in to my pre-existing untidy spaces. So we're going to deal with that today. Also, biggest bag of rice ever. What is a girl supposed to do with that? I mean, I love the man, but his judgment on space ideas is sometimes impaired. I guess it's just dude-like. His judgment on home space affairs is dude-like. Can't blame the dude. And our second unassuming space. It looks like your traditional, all-American, fairly tidy home. And yet, wow, the sun today. It's like I'm making one of those artsy film noir. Anywho, I'm not. I'm making a Tiny Tidy Tuesday and and kind of a horror movie. So we'll go with Jaws. Da-na. Da-na. Da-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na. Oh! Oh! Isn't that horrible? Look at that. I can't believe I'm actually showing you my trash. I probably should have taken out the trash first. Anywho, that's my trash, and that's my trashed space. So let's tiny tidy the heck up so that I can fit in my large Costco overflow pieces. Let's do this. I can't guarantee you that there won't be a hiney shop in here. I don't know. We're gonna try to set up a cam so you're not staring at my hiney while I do this. Wish me luck.
I mean, come on, tell me, that is not a beautiful after, and that was four minutes and six seconds. Probably sped up to like two minutes and 45 seconds for you, but four minutes and six seconds of my real life is all it took to tidy up that disaster and put away those Costco items I've been avoiding for like 48 hours, something ridiculous. I'm not proud of that, but I took care of it. I tiny tidied it after all. And as I always say, we like to air our dirty laundry here to inspire you to tidy yours. So we are going to call that job done and we are gonna deal with these. There's always a slight aftermath. I've got a pile of four things for the laundry room. I've got a recycle pile and of course, tiny jars because who doesn't need a plethora of tiny yogurt pots going in the craft room. And I even got to the napkins, it's been a while, and I can now put the napkins back on my table. Okay, so now I have to try to squeeze a giant bag of husband rice into this already fairly designated pantry. You can't call me a girl without a plan, but a girl with a plan and a carefully curated pantry really doesn't like when somebody throws a wrench in it. So trying to be big about it because it was super, super kind of him to do Costco without me. We usually go together. Costco is date day, but I wasn't feeling up to it. And the man was really proud of his giant bag of husband rice. So I'm going to try to fit it where we generally keep the overflow Costco rice, which is in my large holiday roaster pan. Um, that is not my weekly rice. My weekly rice goes right behind the nuts and salt there in, in more of a manageable size container for our, you know, several days a week use but I'm just I'm just not feeling like this roaster pan is gonna hold that Costco bag I'm just really not sure how it's gonna go but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna let you watch while I try to figure it out so you're welcome a little bit of a workout. <laughs> it was a giant bag. That was the massivest bag of rice. And it was quite a bit of work to lift it up there, but it fit and I'm so happy. So shame on me for complaining because my sweet hubby, I was not feeling well and he braved Costco by himself on a Saturday. And I shouldn't have complained about the giant bag of husband rice because it fit. And so all is well that ends well. And got a little arm workout. So if you have not yet done your tiny tidy for the week, I encourage you to take a peek under that kitchen sink and behind that trash can and do one tiny section of your pantry this week. And let me know in the comments down below. It is my favorite part of every week, reading all of the things that you tiny tidied. And tag me on Instagram if you have a before and after because that is just the best. So as usual, open collab playlist down below, all the usual suspects and usually a few friendly new faces. And um, yeah, watch that playlist, get some motivation and tiny tidy something for yourself. I'll be back on Saturday with another Swedish death cleaning video. And um, until then, tiny tidy something of your own. And I will see you here Saturday on The Helpful Home.